The year was 2047. Humanity had achieved what was once thought impossible, a thriving colony on Mars. Led by Captain Eleanor Rodriguez, the Mars Colony mission had overcome countless obstacles. The Red Planet, with its harsh climate and barren landscapes, had become a new frontier for human ingenuity and resilience. Inside the colony's central hub, Captain Rodriguez was deep in discussion with Dr. Mark Thompson. Elena, these new mineral samples are astonishing, Mark said, excitement sparking in his eyes. They indicate potential geothermal activity beneath the surface. If we can harness that energy, Elena smiled, placing a hand on his shoulder. One step at a time, Mark. Let's ensure our habitat is secure first. Their conversation was interrupted by a sudden, piercing alarm. The colony's AI, Evia, chimed in. Unidentified object detected entering Mars atmosphere. Elena and Mark exchanged worried glances. EVA, display visual, Elena commanded. A holographic image flickered to life, showing a sleek alien craft descending rapidly towards the Martian surface. It was unlike anything they had ever seen. An intricate design of interlocking metallic plates, glowing with an ethereal blue light. Prepare the defence drones, Elena ordered, her voice steady. And alert Earth, we need reinforcements. High Commander Zalvok stood on the bridge of his ship, the Katal Vaughan. Mars loomed large on the view screen, a red orb ripe for the taking. The Zoltharan fleet had remained hidden beyond the orbit of Pluto, waiting for the right moment to strike. High Commander, we have entered Mars' atmosphere undetected, reported scientist Virala, her eyes reflecting the ship's glow. Excellent, Zalvok replied, his voice a low, resonant hum. Begin scanning for human activity. We must neutralize their operations swiftly. Virala hesitated for a moment. High Commander, do you believe this conflict is necessary? The humans seem primitive compared to us. Zalvok turned to face her, his gaze piercing. Virala, these humans may appear insignificant, but their expansion threatens our control. We cannot allow them to gain a foothold in our system. Virella nodded, her reservations unspoken. She initiated the scans, the ship's sensors probing the Martian surface. Back at the Mars colony, tension was mounting. The defence drones were deployed, hovering around the colony's perimeter. Elena monitored the situation, her mind racing with possibilities. Mark, what's our status on the communication array? she asked. Still jammed, Mark replied frustration evident in his voice. Whatever technology they're using, it's far beyond our capabilities. A sudden explosion rocked the colony, sending debris flying. Ilyana's heart pounded as she saw one of the defence drones spiralling out of control. We're under attack, she shouted. All personnel, to your stations. Outside, the Zoltharun ship unleashed a barrage of energy pulses, targeting the human defences with pinpoint accuracy. The colony's turrets responded, but their projectiles seemed to dissipate against the Zoltharan shields. Inside the alien craft, Virella observed the human resistance with a mix of awe and concern. High Commander, the humans are more resilient than anticipated, Zalvok's eyes narrowed. Prepare the ground troops. We will crush their spirits directly. Elena and Mark raced to the colony's armory, suiting up in advanced exoskeletons designed for combat. We need to buy time until Earth can send reinforcements, Elena said, fastening her helmet. Agreed, Mark replied, loading his plasma rifle. Let's show these invaders what humanity is made of. As they emerged onto the surface, a transport pod from the Zoltharan ship landed nearby, its doors sliding open to reveal a squad of alien soldiers. Tall and imposing, the Zoltharans advanced with a menacing grace. Elena took aim and fired, her shot striking the lead soldier's armour. The energy shield flickered but held. The Zoltharan retaliated, sending a burst of energy towards Elena. She dodged, rolling behind a rock for cover. Mark provided covering fire, his shots more precise. One Zoltharan fell, its shield overloaded. Got one, he shouted. The battle intensified, with explosions and energy blasts lighting up the Martian landscape. Despite their advanced technology, 
the Zoltharans found themselves challenged by the humans' tenacity and tactical ingenuity. Inside the Zoltharan ship, Virilla watched the unfolding conflict with growing unease. High Commander, we're sustaining heavy losses. Perhaps we should reconsider our approach. Zelvok's expression hardened. Retreat is not an option. We will claim this planet. Before Virilla could respond, an urgent message flashed on her console. High Commander, an Earth fleet is approaching Mars. They will be here in minutes. Zalvok's eyes widened. All units fall back to the ship. Prepare for immediate departure. On the ground, Elena noticed the Zoltharans retreating. They're pulling back, she said, a mixture of relief and suspicion in her voice. Maybe they're regrouping, Mark suggested. We should stay on guard. As the Zoltharan ship ascended, the first Earth vessels appeared in the sky, their presence a welcome sight for the beleaguered colonists. Eleanor, this isn't over, Mark said, looking up at the departing alien craft. No, it's not, Elena agreed, but we've shown them that humanity won't back down. We'll be ready for them next time. High above Mars, Zalvok stood in silence, contemplating the fierce resistance he had encountered. Virola approached him cautiously. High Commander, what are your orders? Zalvok's gaze remained fixed on the red planet below. We will return, Virola. The humans may have won this battle, but the war for the solar system is far from over. Virola nodded, her thoughts torn between loyalty to her people and a growing respect for the resilient humans. The Zoltharan ship vanished into the depths of space leaving behind a battered but unbroken colony on Mars. As the dust settled, Captain Elena Rodriguez knew that this was only the beginning of a long and arduous struggle. But for now, humanity had proven its resolve and its unyielding spirit. And thus, the tale of Mars unyielding began. A story of courage, conflict, and the relentless pursuit of survival in the face of an unknown enemy. With the immediate threat of the Zoltharans temporarily averted, life on Mars began to return to a semblance of normalcy. The colonists worked tirelessly to repair the damage inflicted by the attack, their resolve strengthened by the knowledge that Earth stood ready to support them. Inside the central hub, Captain Elena Rodriguez was in a video conference with General McAllister, the head of Earth's Space Defense Force. Elena. You and your team did an incredible job holding the line, McAllister said, his voice filled with admiration. We're deploying additional troops and resources to bolster the colony's defences. Thank you, General, Elena replied. But we need more than just reinforcements. We need intelligence on these aliens, their strengths, their weaknesses, anything that can give us an edge. Agreed. Our scientists are already working on reverse engineering the debris we collected from the battlefield. We'll keep you updated on our progress. As the call ended, Elena turned to Mark, who was busy analysing the data from the recent engagement. What have you got, Mark? Preliminary analysis of their technology shows they use a form of energy we've never encountered before. It's incredibly efficient and versatile. If we can understand it, we might be able to adapt it to our own systems. Elena nodded thoughtfully. And what about their biology? We need to know how to counter them effectively in combat. I'm on it, Mark assured her, but it's going to take time. Their physiology is as advanced as their technology. Aboard the Zoltharan ship, the Katal Vaughan, scientist Virila was deep in her own research. Despite the High Commander's orders, she couldn't shake the fascination she felt towards the humans. Their resilience, their ingenuity, it was all so unexpected. As she worked, Zalavok entered the lab. Report, Virila. How soon can we mount a new offensive? Virila hesitated, choosing her words carefully. High Commander, our losses were significant. We need to reassess our strategy. The humans are more formidable than we anticipated. Zalvok's eyes narrowed. Are you suggesting we abandon our mission? No, High Commander, she replied quickly. But we must understand our enemy better. Rushing into another conflict without proper preparation will only lead to more losses. Zalvok considered her words, his expression unreadable. Very well. Continue your research. But remember, Virola, 
Our primary objective is to secure this solar system for the Zoltharan Empire. Failure is not an option. As he left, Vir Allah returned to her work, her mind a whirl of conflicting emotions. The more she learned about the humans, the more she questioned the necessity of their eradication. But loyalty to her people and her duty as a scientist compelled her to push forward. On Mars, the colonists were making significant progress. The new defence systems, combined with the technological insights gained from the Zoltharan debris, had significantly bolstered their capabilities. One evening, as Elena and Mark were reviewing the latest defence schematics, EVA's voice broke through their concentration. Captain Rodriguez, Dr Thompson, an unidentified craft is approaching the colony. It does not match known Zoltharan or Earth designs. Elena and Mark exchanged a glance. What now? Elena muttered. Evio, can you identify the craft? Negative, Captain. However, it is broadcasting a non-hostile signal. Let's go check it out, Mark suggested, grabbing his gear. As they made their way to the landing site, they were greeted by a sleek, silvery ship that had just touched down. The craft's hatch opened, and a tall, slender figure emerged. It was unlike any alien they had seen. A graceful being with luminescent skin and eyes that seemed to hold a universe of stars. Greetings, the alien spoke, its voice melodic and soothing. I am Liara of the Elari. We come in peace. Elena stepped forward cautiously. I'm Captain Elena Rodriguez of the Mars Colony. What brings you here, Liara? Our people have observed your conflict with the Zoltharans, Liara explained. We seek to offer our assistance. The Zoltharans are a threat to all sentient life in this system, not just your own. Mark raised an eyebrow. Why would you help us? Liara smiled, a gesture that seemed both alien and familiar. Because we believe in the potential of all races to coexist and thrive. Together, we stand a better chance against the Zoltharan threat. Elena nodded slowly. All right, Liara, let's talk. We have a lot to discuss. Over the next few days, the Alari shared their knowledge with the humans. Their advanced technology and strategic insights proved invaluable in preparing for the next potential attack. The colony's defences were upgraded with Alari shielding technology, and new tactics were developed to counter the Zoltharan strengths. Elena found herself increasingly impressed by Liara's wisdom and calm demeanour. Liara, why are the Zoltharans so intent on conquering this system? Liara's expression grew sombre. The Zoltharans are driven by a deep-seated belief in their own superiority. They see the expansion of other races as a direct threat to their dominance. To them, control is synonymous with survival. Mark, who had been listening intently, asked, is there no way to reason with them? Liara shook her head. I'm afraid not. Their society is built on the principles of conquest and control. To them, peace is a sign of weakness. The calm before the storm was brief. Soon, the Zoltharans returned. This time with an even larger fleet. High Commander Zalvok was determined to crush the human and Alari alliance. Prepare for battle! Elena's voice rang through the colony's communication network. The colonists, now well trained and equipped with new technology, took their positions. The sky above Mars lit up with the clash of ships and energy blasts. The combined forces of humans and Alari fought valiantly against the relentless Zoltharan onslaught. Elena and Mark led the ground defence, coordinating with Liara and her team. Despite the overwhelming odds, the united front held strong, each side complementing the other's strengths. High Commander Zalvok, watching from the bridge of the Katal Vaughan, was infuriated by the unexpected resistance. Virala, deploy the experimental weapon. We must end this now. Virola hesitated. High Commander, the weapon is untested. It could cause catastrophic damage to the planet. Do it! Zalvok's order was absolute. Reluctantly, Virala initiated the sequence. A massive energy beam shot from the Zoltharan ship targeting the heart of the human colony. Elena and her team watched in horror as the beam descended. But just as the beam was about to strike, a shield of pure energy, brighter than the sun, enveloped the colony. Liara and the Alari had activated their most powerful defence, a last-ditch effort to protect their ally. 
the Zoltharan beam collided with the shield, causing a massive explosion that rocked the Martian surface. When the dust settled, the colony stood, the shield dissipating into particles of light. The failed attack demoralized the Zoltharans. Seeing their experimental weapon neutralized, High Commander Zalvok ordered a retreat. The human and Ilari forces had won the day. Elena stood on a ridge, watching the Zoltharan ships disappear into the sky. Beside her, Mark and Liara surveyed the battlefield. We did it, Mark said, a note of disbelief in his voice. This is just the beginning, Elena replied. We've shown them that we won't be conquered. Now we need to ensure that they don't come back. Liara nodded. The Elari will continue to stand with you. Together, we will safeguard this system and build a future where all races can coexist. As the colonists began to rebuild once more, Elena felt a renewed sense of hope. The alliance with the Alari had opened new possibilities, and the victory against the Zoltharans had proven humanity's strength and resilience. But the shadows of war still lingered, and Elena knew that vigilance was necessary. The fight for the solar system was far from over, but with allies like Liara and the unyielding spirit of humanity, there was a chance for a brighter future. And so, the tale of Mars unyielding continued, a story of courage, unity, and the relentless pursuit of peace in a universe fraught with conflict. The victory against the Zoltharans had brought a sense of accomplishment to the Mars colony. However, beneath the surface of celebration, there lingered an awareness of the fragile peace. Captain Elena Rodriguez and her team remained vigilant, knowing that the Zoltharans would not accept defeat so easily. One evening, as Elena reviewed the latest defence reports in her quarters, EVA's voice broke the silence. Captain Rodriguez, I am detecting anomalous readings from the colony's perimeter. Elena frowned. Can you specify the nature of the anomaly, EVA? Unknown energy signatures, consistent with neither Zoltharan nor Ilari technology. Elena quickly donned her exosuit and contacted Mark and Liara. Meet me at the north perimeter. We have a situation. When they arrived, the source of the readings became clear. A small, spherical drone, emitting a faint blue glow, hovered just outside the colony's defences. Is it Zoltharan? Mark asked, examining the device. Liara shook her head. No, this technology is unfamiliar. We should be cautious. Elena nodded. Eve, initiate containment protocol. A force field enveloped the drone. But before they could examine it further, it projected a holographic image. A figure, humanoid, but with distinctly different features from any known race, appeared. Greetings, humans and Elari. I am Ambassador Talar from the Varlok Confederation. We have observed your recent conflict and wish to offer our assistance against the Zoltharan threat. Elena exchanged a surprised glance with Mark and Liara. More potential allies, she murmured. Ambassador Talar, we are open to discussions. What can you tell us about the Varlok Confederation? The holographic figure nodded. The Varlok have long opposed Zoltharan expansion. We possess technology and intelligence that could be invaluable in your defence. However, there are matters to discuss in person. Our envoy will arrive shortly. As the hologram faded, Elena felt a mix of hope and apprehension. We need to prepare. This could be a turning point or another threat. Within days, a Varlok ship arrived, its sleek, organic design contrasting sharply with both Zoltharan and Elari vessels. Ambassador Talar, accompanied by a delegation, was greeted in the colony's main hall. Talar, a tall being with shimmering, iridescent skin and multifaceted eyes, spoke with a calm authority. Thank you for your hospitality, Captain Rodriguez. The Varlok Confederation has long sought to curb Zoltharan aggression. We believe a coalition of our races can achieve this goal. Ellen. Trainer nodded, her expression serious. We welcome your help, Ambassador, but we need to understand your motives and your technology. Trust is essential if we are to work together. Talar inclined his head. Understandable. Our technology is based on advanced biochemistry and adaptive energy fields. We offer this knowledge to strengthen your defences and share intelligence on Zoltharan movements. 
Liara, intrigued, stepped forward. Ambassador Talar, what drives your opposition to the Zoltharans? Talar's eyes darkened. The Zoltharans have destroyed countless civilizations in their quest for dominance. The Varlok have suffered their wrath and vowed to prevent further destruction. Your resilience against them proves you are worthy allies. Mark, always skeptical, asked, What's the catch? There's always a catch. Talar smiled, a gesture that seemed genuine. In return for our assistance, we seek cooperation in establishing mutual outposts and research facilities. Together, we can advance our understanding and prepare for future threats. Elena considered this, then extended her hand. Agreed, Ambassador. Let's start with a joint research initiative. The sooner we understand each other's capabilities, the stronger we'll be. As the weeks passed, the Varlok integrated smoothly with the human and Elari teams. Their advanced biotechnological expertise accelerated the development of new defences and medical technologies, bolstering the colony's resilience. However, not all was harmonious. Some colonists were wary of the new allies, fearing hidden agendas. Elena found herself mediating between factions, ensuring that trust was built on both sides. One night, while conducting routine patrols, Elena and Mark discovered a group of colonists in a heated argument with a Varlock scientist. We don't want your kind here, one colonist shouted. How do we know you're not spying for the Zoltharans? The Varlock scientist, visibly distressed, tried to explain. We share a common enemy. Our intentions are to help, not harm, Elena intervened, her voice firm. That's enough. We are allies now and we need to act like it. Ambassador Talar has proven his commitment. Any mistrust should be brought to me, not acted upon in anger. The colonists, though grumbling, dispersed. Mark turned to Eleanor. We need to address these fears before they escalate. One incident could undermine everything we've built. Elena nodded. Agreed. We'll hold a forum tomorrow to address concerns and reinforce the importance of unity. Despite internal tensions, the Alliance proved its worth. With Varlock technology, the colony's defences became nearly impenetrable. Earth, too, benefited from the shared advancements, sending more support to Mars. But peace was fleeting. One day, a distress signal from an outlying research station sent shockwaves through the colony. The message was garbled, but one word was clear. Zoltharans. Elena, Mark and Liara, along with Ambassador Talar, led a team to the station. They found it in ruins the signs of Zoltharan weaponry evident. Survivors spoke of a new type of Zoltharan soldier, more advanced and brutal. As they assessed the damage, a chilling realisation dawned on them. The Zoltharans had not only regrouped, but had also upgraded their forces. This attack was a clear message. They would not rest until they reclaimed control. Back at the colony, a council of war was convened. Elena addressed the gathered leaders and representatives. We face a renewed Zoltharan threat. Our defences are strong, but we must prepare for a prolonged conflict. Unity and vigilance are our greatest strengths, Talar added. The Varlok will stand with you. Together we will devise strategies to counter this new threat. Our knowledge and your resilience can prevail. Liara, reflecting on her own people's struggle, said, We must remain hopeful and determined. The Zoltharans underestimate our resolve. Let's prove them wrong. The council dispersed with a renewed sense of purpose. The fight for Mars and the solar system had entered a new, more dangerous phase. But with their allies beside them and their unyielding spirit, humanity was ready to face whatever came next. And so, the tale of Mars unyielding continued. A story of alliances forged in the crucible of conflict, of courage tested by relentless foes and of a future shaped by the unbreakable will to survive and thrive. The renewed Zoltharan threat loomed large over the Mars colony. Elena and her team worked tirelessly, integrating the advanced technologies provided by the Varlok and the Alari into their defence systems. Training regimens were intensified, with colonists honing their combat skills and strategic thinking. In the central command hub, Elena, Mark, Liara, and Ambassador Talar gathered for a strategic meeting. A holographic map of the solar system floated before them, 
displaying known Zoltharan positions and potential targets. Elena, our scouts have reported increased Zoltharan activity near the asteroid belt, Mark said, pointing to the map. They're likely setting up forward bases to launch more frequent attacks. Liara nodded, her expression serious. We need to disrupt their supply lines. Striking at their bases could buy us time and weaken their efforts. Talar added, the Varlock have cloaked ships capable of covert operations. We can assist in these strikes without alerting the Zoltharans to our presence. Elling. Tainer considered the plan. Agreed. We'll coordinate a series of hit-and-run attacks. Our goal is to disrupt and delay, but we must also prepare for a full-scale invasion. The Zoltharans won't stop until they've crushed us. The first covert operation was launched within days. A fleet of cloaked Varlock ships, accompanied by a handful of human and Alari vessels, slipped through the asteroid belt undetected. Their target, a Zoltharan supply depot hidden within an asteroid. Inside one of the lead ships, Elena and Talar reviewed their approach. Once we breach their defences, we'll plant charges and evacuate, Talar explained. Speed and precision are key. As the ships neared the depot, the cloaking devices were deactivated and a barrage of laser fire erupted. The element of surprise was on their side. Human and Varlock soldiers, clad in advanced combat suits, stormed the depot. Explosions rocked the asteroid as charges were planted on key structures. Elena, leading her team, fought with determination, her rifle cutting down Zoltharan soldiers who attempted to resist. Charges are set! Mark's voice crackled over the comms. We need to get out of here, now! The team quickly retreated to their ships, and as they sped away, a series of detonations tore through the asteroid, obliterating the depot. Cheers erupted within the ships as they watched the destruction on their monitors. That's one down, Eleanor said, her voice grim. But we have a long way to go. Back at the colony, the success of the operation boosted morale. However, not all was well. Unbeknownst to the Allies, a Zoltharan spy had infiltrated their ranks, gathering intelligence and sabotaging their efforts from within. The first signs of trouble appeared when critical systems began to fail. Power outages, communication disruptions and equipment malfunctions plagued the colony. Elena, suspicious of the pattern, ordered a thorough investigation. Mark, leading a team of engineers, discovered evidence of tampering in the colony's mainframe. Someone's been planting malware in our systems, he reported to Eleanor. It's sophisticated. Zoltharan, without a doubt, Elena clenched her fists. We have a traitor. We need to find them before they can do more damage. The colony was put on high alert. Security protocols were tightened and surveillance was increased. It wasn't long before the saboteur was identified. A Varlock scientist named Jalok, who had been working closely with the humans. Elena confronted Jalok in the main hall, flanked by Talar and Liara. Why? she demanded, her voice filled with betrayal and anger. Jalok's expression was cold. The Zoltharans promised me power and protection. I have no loyalty to a doomed cause. Talar stepped forward, his eyes dark with anger. You have betrayed not only your allies, but your own people. Your actions have endangered us all, Jalok sneered. It doesn't matter. The Zoltharans will come, and you will all fall. Elena signalled the guards to take Jalok away. We'll see about that. But for now, you'll pay for your treachery. With the spy dealt with, the colony refocused on strengthening its defences. Meanwhile, Earth had not been idle. General McAllister had rallied the forces of the Space Defence Force, and a formidable fleet was en route to Mars, carrying advanced weaponry and additional troops. The arrival of the Earth fleet was a momentous occasion. Massive battleships and nimble fighters descended into Mars' atmosphere, bringing with them a sense of renewed hope and strength. Elena greeted General McAllister as he disembarked from his flagship. Welcome to Mars, General. Your timing couldn't be better. McAllister smiled. We're here to help, Captain. Let's show these Zoltharans what humanity is capable of. The combined might of Earth, Mars, the Alari, and the Varlock forged a formidable alliance. 
training sessions, strategy meetings and joint operations became the norm as the Allies prepared for the inevitable Zortharan counterattack.